Stan Gibalisco here. I'm going to show you the antenna, the actual antenna that I described in a previous video. Here it is, lying in pieces on the deck of my house. The reason I keep it lying down like that, instead of erected and standing up, is because thunder showers can crop up in these black hills at any almost any time I don't think we're going to see them right now we've just had a cold front go through and it's clear as can be 55 degrees in August that's not too bad for some of you people this year there it lies I can easily put these two pieces of aluminum tubing together to create the 22 foot vertical antenna and then insert it into this piece of tubing which is clamped to the deck with insulators and then right down at the bottom you're going to see a piece of concrete that covers a large Tupperware type uh, uh, container placed upside down to protect the base from the weather, particularly in the winter when I have to shovel snow on this deck. There is the capacitor wrapped up in bubble wrap and electrical tape to further protect it. It's just a very small pair of 100 picofarad 50 volt capacitors connected in series. That's not very much voltage. Uh, you, you would not run the maximum legal limit with this antenna and expect those capacitors to survive. However, I only run generally 10 watts at the most of output power. Uh, there are some benefits to running uh, QRP, low power like that. One of them being that you don't have to worry about RF exposure. Uh, I've never really worried very much about that but you sure don't have to worry about it when you're only running 7 to 10 watts. I prefer CW and phase shift keying, PSK, which are more efficient than single sideband for transmitting signals on low power. And I'm fortunate enough to have a very nice shot out in that direction towards South America. The 20 meter band, 14 megahertz, has been just fine the past few weeks thanks to the sunspots that you hear about on the news you know those sunspots that are gonna drive us back into the stone age someday if the fear mongers on the news get their way of course one benefit of being driven back to the stone age we won't have to listen to them anymore Stan Gibalisco out